Welcome everybody to my first hurricane season forecast for the year 2023. It's getting to be that time of the year again when we have to start paying attention to the tropics, especially those of you who live in areas prone to tropical activity. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my thoughts on how this season may play out. I will be releasing another hurricane season forecast as we get closer to the start of the season, so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the following video. To start off this update, let's see the overall weather patterns that will affect the development of tropical cyclones during the upcoming season. One of the key differences we will see during the upcoming hurricane season will be the absence of La Nina. The La Nina weather pattern has been stubbornly in place for nearly the last three years, which increases the amount of tropical storms and hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean. We saw that especially during the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, in which 31 tropical systems formed, making it the most active Atlantic hurricane season on record. Thankfully, this is very unlikely to happen this year, and this will be due to the return of El Nino, the opposite of La Nina, which suppresses tropical activity in the Atlantic. This is because of stronger vertical wind shear and trade winds, which tears apart tropical systems before they are able to strengthen. If we take a look back at this graph that I showed earlier, we can see how the chances of El Nino increase as we head further into the year. We are currently in a neutral pattern, which is neither El Nino or La Nina. The neutral phase is expected to become El Nino by the middle to latter part of the summertime. Another significant factor in forecasting hurricane season is looking at the ocean temperatures. As of April 2023, widespread above average temperature anomalies can be seen across the Atlantic Ocean. Much above average temperatures can be seen in the Gulf of Mexico, which may even allow for a pre season subtropical system this month. Sea surface temperatures look like they will remain above average for the hurricane season. The important thing to realize about this is that even if we see a below average season, with less storms than usual, these warm waters can supercharge any storm that is able to develop in a favorable environment. A great example of this was Hurricane Dorian in 2019, which devastated the Bahamas with wind gusts well over 200 miles per hour. With all this in mind, these are my preliminary thoughts in the upcoming season. I think that the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season will be average to slightly below average, featuring a total of 12 to 15 named storms, 5 to 8 becoming hurricanes, and about 2 or 3 becoming major hurricanes. This is an early forecast, so expect some small changes by the time my next forecast comes out. For now, thank you all for watching. If you are interested in seeing more updates about the hurricane season, along with various other weather topics, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you and see you soon.